In today's video, I'll be giving this room an early summer refresh. Hey, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to our living room, which is right here off of our foyer. For those of you who are new here, when we first moved into the house about nine years ago, it looked a little bit different. The wall came in a whole lot more on each side and there was one little door. But we felt like that one little door just didn't match the two-story foyer. So we had someone widen the wall or t remove part of the wall, add in the columns to tie in with those in our family room. And visually, we feel like it just balances a bit better now with the two-story foyer. And then eventually we added the faux fireplace. I found that on Facebook Marketplace and the shiplap above and the billy bookcases on each side. I added trim and molding to give them more of a built-in, hopefully custom look. And the other thing I did in here was to paint the room white and add the floor to ceiling battens. That was a very quick, easy, and inexpensive DIY, and it's a great way to add visual interest, especially to white walls. All right, now that I've bored you with a little backstory of this room, here are my plans for today. I wanna go ahead and give it a little bit of a different furniture configuration, not a completely different one, that'll happen for summer. So one of these love seats is going to go away. I've gone ahead and emptied the bookcases except for the baskets. Those are a staple. Baskets are such a great filler and I like the balance and symmetry that they add. And then the frames, I need to fill those with something as well. One more look at the before. Here's what it looks like with the two chairs. So by removing the love seat, visually, it doesn't seem as heavy over here, does it? Even though I have two chairs and a table in its place, it isn't covering up as much of the windows as the love seat did. And it's also giving our cats a new place to perch. We could do it like this. I have never had it before in this configuration, and I'll tell you why. It's because of the closet right there. When we had the wall widened, we weren't able to center the columns on the back wall because of the closet. So now, once we added the fireplace, that means that looking straight ahead, the fireplace isn't centered in between the columns. Now, for most people, that's not a problem. But for me, who is obsessed with symmetry, it is a problem, but I'm going to embrace my need for asymmetry and give this arrangement a try. And while I was tempted to leave this wall blank or empty, I decided to move the cabinet in for a couple of reasons. I feel like the window pane doors tie in with the windows here, and it also conceals that lovely air return over there. I need to get one of those pretty vent covers. I am gonna take the picture frames down though because I don't like it when you have a piece of furniture where what is above it is wider than the piece of furniture. Thank you for letting me talk your ear off. I'm going to be quiet now and start decorating and we'll take a look at it when it's all done. seating I have our love seat and two accent chairs now I know it's a lot of white I have the white pillows the white throws but the one little pop of color with the beige lumbar pillows now I did it for a reason this is just my calm pre-summer reset but I feel as though I can get away with it too because look how much pattern is going on in the accent rug so to me your eye goes directly down there so it allows the white furniture in my mind with the beige pillows to work to me it's a just a little calming i don't want things too busy 
As for a coffee table, I had the other one in here, but it was a little too wide in this cozy seating area. So I brought the bench in from our dining room, then just placed books on it, just to try to make this look like a room where you wanna sit in the peace and quiet and pick up a book. When it comes to styling shelves, I keep it a little basic, but I gotta have my symmetry. So for example, I've done that by having a box, or I'm sorry, a woven basket at the top and the bottom, that gives me balance. And then here, I'm a big fan of the diagonal method. So where I have my white box and greenery there, diagonally down, I have a white frame and then the artwork with the greenery in it. Here, I have the white bowl with the book and down here, while I didn't do another bowl, I do have a white pitcher with another book. And then I did the opposite. I flip what I did over here on the other bookcase. So it's balanced, but I have a little bit of asymmetry. Alright, this is pretty basic compared to what I usually like to do, but again, this is my calm pre-summer reset, and because I have a lot going on in the bookcases, I feel like it's okay to just have simple candle holders and candles and something right in the middle. And of course, this ties in with the greenery that I added to the bookcases. It's not identical, it's a lighter color but I do like how the leaves are close to the same shape. And then I added just a few little white flowers in for contrast. cabinet I made a couple of changes after I filmed earlier and that is to layer this print in the back against the mirror and then add this greenery as well now it's a lighter green than that on the bookcases but that's okay because the shape of the leaves mimic each other 
same with the print. So I'm bringing that greenery over and while it might look a little crowded over here, that's okay because I have such calm furniture going on. I think this works. And then instead of going with a plain glass decanter, I went with this cane one because I like how it ties in with the baskets on the bookcases. And then to continue the baskets or the woven feel, I added the same baskets. Well, not the same, but the same material inside the cabinet. And then I have the glass jugs as well so that it all ties together. On the sofa table where I could have added two lamps, I went with faux florals instead along with candles. And I put the florals on this side since I have florals outside on that side. And then in the middle, just a simple bowl and these really pretty green and white ceramic orbs. Down below the sofa table, I added these two stools just to fill in that gap a bit. Now I will say, while this design isn't my favorite, I may end up covering the scalloped trim one day the reason I added the scalloped bowls to the bookcases is because the shape mimics that. So I know I sound like a broken record when I say I like how it ties it all together. This little blanket ladder that I made a few years ago sure has come in handy it has traveled all over our house. I think everybody needs a blanket ladder. It is such a great filler for an empty spot on a wall. You can angle it in a corner. You can have lots of throws hanging from it, or in my case, just one with a little bit of texture. You can hang garland or lights, baskets. The possibilities are endless. Well friends, that about does it for today. Hopefully you like the new arrangement and that maybe I've encouraged you to play a bit of musical furniture in your home too. As always, thank you for joining me. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.